Okay, good morning. I'm Jed Noble. I'm the police commander for Newcastle and Gateshead. Um, at 6.20 p.m. Uh, last night, we received a report of a male having been stabbed in the Eldon Square area of Newcastle city centre. Uh, police officers who were patrolling the city centre at that time responded very quickly and uh, together with paramedics um, immediately commenced uh, emergency first aid with the victim. Uh, the 52 year old victim was taken to the Royal Victoria Infirmary where very sadly he was pronounced dead. We have very quickly made seven arrests on suspicion of murder uh, during the course of the night last evening and during the course of the night one of whom we would describe as our main suspect in this investigation. Um, clearly this has been uh, a terribly tragic incident occurring in our busy city centre and our thoughts go with the family and friends of the victim. The investigation is being led by our dedicated homicide detectives and the family are being supported by our family liaison officers. As I've said, this is an awful, awful incident which has occurred in a busy city centre leading to terrible and tragic consequences. Um, we are at the very early stages of the investigation and I'm sure you will appreciate I can't go into great detail uh, at this stage um, because I don't want to jeopardise any future prosecution. What I can say at this time is that it appears to have been a chance encounter between the victim and the offender, which then led to, again, what appears to have been an unprovoked attack. Again, at this stage, we believe the weapon to have been a screwdriver and the fatal injury to be as a result of a single puncture wound. I'm acutely aware that this will cause a great deal of concern both to the public and local business and we have already increased police patrols within the city and we will continue to do so to make sure that people are safe and feel safe. We will also continue to do all we can to prevent this type of tragic incident occurring, which does include targeting those people who carry weapons. It, it was at a busy time of the evening, uh, lots of shoppers, lots of people going home from work. Uh, we've had some fantastic response from the public both in terms of the immediate assistance that was given to the victim in support of ourselves and paramedics. And we have had uh, numerous contact from witnesses um, uh, describing what they, had, what they had seen. I would also urge anyone who hasn't already contacted the police that has any information or may have witnessed something uh, to contact police uh, via 101.